size. Look, we are bringing you things that people have brought from all walks of life that are maybe produced here in Ghana across the country, things that are produced here in the country. It is the Made in Ghana Fair, second edition. And then we have come to a stand and we could see rice, rice that are neatly packaged. I think I should approach the brain and the man behind it. Let him take us through a few things. Let us. It comes from the farmer of Ghana. Uh, Avnash has posed a very state of the big plant, state of the art technology. It is 500 ton per day capacity. It is based in Tamale. What is different? We have bought the best of the equipment, which is required to process the paddy, which can be harvested, which can be produced in Ghana. You know, you have different variety of rice, which is coming from Vietnam, Thailand, or maybe Pakistan, India. But unfortunately, the weather of Ghana does not promote or cannot sustain that kind of rice. So, for Ghana to have a bright future, self-sustenance on the food economy, we must eat what we get. So now we have a challenge in Ghana, northern, northern part. When there is harvesting season, the Hamatan starts. So when the Hamadan starts, the, the, the ready paddy, it falls because the humidity goes down and it cracks. So now we bought it, you know, first in Africa, first in Ghana technology known as parboiling principle. Now this is known as parboiled rice. Okay, this is known as parboiled rice. What is the process? We heat up the paddy. So if you process it like that, if you see in market, several of the small mills, they will sell it, but it will be broken in small part. How to stop that? So we have put a plant, which is known as power boiling plant. We boil it, we soak it in hot water. So in this, you know, controlled temperature, the grains, the cracked grains join. And then we process. This is known as parboiled rice. Now why it is required? If really you want to help the farmers. If you bring the variety of Vietnam into Ghana, it will not have yield. We need to have a grain which will have yield. So more the yield, more earning to the farmer. So we have bought some changes. We, start, we started buying paddy in 2017. At that time in North, People, the farmers used to do farming, but they didn't have the takers. So sometimes they will keep the paddy for two years in their house. We buy them from farmer. Okay. Right now also, as I am talking, my team is in Tono. They are buying right from the field. They go to the field. Cash. Earlier, farmer did not have a cash buyer. Some middleman will come and he will say, I'll give money after two months. We go there at their place, we say, take cash. So this is what we have bought changes. Since we started buying last year, the price, which was 80 Peshwa per kg, has gone to 2 Ghana CD per kg. So there is a rise of 250% in paddy. Because everybody knows Avnash is there to buy paddy. Every paddy, every quality we buy. And we process it because we have a processing plant which can take any paddy. We parboil it. The challenge is any chemicals added. You know, some there is no there is no chemical added. We go by the FDA regulation. Unlike any imported normal, you will find weevils and everything. But that is a natural process. If you don't find weevil in paddy, uh, uh, somebody has put some preservant. We don't put any preservant. So it is a raw rice, purest of the rice. This brown rice is brown. Uh, no, no, no. This is not brown. The color brown is because when we parboil it, the B8 vitamin which is there in the bran, it gets sucked in the grain. This is better for the rearing mothers, for the children, because this has got B8 vitamin in it. So 
we are bringing change. But the problem in Ghana is ages and ages of dependence on imported rice, the palate of Ghanaians have changed to Vietnam fragrant, which is not possible here. So we find it a little bit difficult to sell it because the people are not educated enough to see, understand the change. But one should accept, you know, the fragrance of Ghana itself. This has got the fragrance of Ghana soil. Yeah, it does not have a Vietnamese fragrance, but it is a true Ghanaian rice. We but bring it's back... O- it's not only in the north that we produce rice. No, we have... If we go to Volta region, we have other... So do you operate in that yes. area? We, we buy from every place. Volta, okay. Brongahafo, every place our team goes. Wherever there is, we get calls. We try to take it from them. So anywhere, any pet is there, we buy. We are open. Anybody can buy. We have got a uh, uh, toll-free number. Anybody can, uh, yes. So, you know. This rice, how long can, is it have any expiry date? How long does it last? no expiry date, my brother. No perfumes? No perfume. It is, it is Ghanaian. Virgin Ghanaian rice. So we bring, bringing back Ghana, back to Ghanaians. So you, I would want you to look into the camera and then talk, talk to somebody who is watching us. Yeah. Why should you patronize a made in Ghana rice like you yeah. are telling us? So one should patronize made in Ghana rice, Avnash rice, Royal Farmer rice, because everything you buy goes back to the farmer. We are very big in North Wheat helping the farmers, we are buying cash paddy. With this, the economy of the farmers, the buying strength, the selling strength is improving day by day. So it is bringing big change in the life of farmers. Now give us your details, your particulars, where we can find you and then your contact. Just mention them to us. So our rice is located at, uh, rice mill is located at Tamale. We keep on airing advertisement of our numbers. Once you tell us you have paddy, we'll come there. Our team will come there. They will buy the paddy. Our distribution sectors are all across. You know, most of the malls have started buying. Some have not accepted it because they are still not ready to accept Ghanaian rice and they don't believe in the quality. So we got Made in Ghana logo now. (laughs) So we are trying to push. We are just one year. We see very promising, you know, response from the Ghanaians. Is that some that you are cooking over there? Is it some of the rice that you are cooking over there? Yes. This is all Ghanaian rice. the aroma. Yes. Yes. It is a true Ghanaian rice. We are trying to uh, uh, cook it for the people to come and taste, to understand. Because when they see it, when they see made in Ghana somehow, they don't know what is the taste. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So your contact, finally, a contact that you can reach. If you don't have, maybe we will take it later and then yes. we'll put it on TV. Yes. Uh-huh. So our contact is, uh, you can contact us, uh, David. We can have a break. Yeah, okay. All right. So uh, we are still here at the Janshi Mall. This is... Uh, the second edition of the Made in Ghana Fair and it is actually the very final day and that we are having a chat with Royal Farms. They produce rice here, quality rice in Ghana. No chemicals, no perfume, nothing. So I just spoke to the CEO and then I don't want to go back again and then we take the contact. If you want to get any of the varieties that they pro, pro, pro produce in Ghana, you can contact the number that he's going to. So let me go to him straight so that he gives us the number that we can reach him on. Hello, so you can give us your numbers now. So we have a toll free number. Okay. You want the finished product, you want to sell paddy, it does not charge, it is a toll free number 800 900 100. Okay, once again. Okay, 0800 900. 100 0 uh, 800 900 100 okay we get that you can also find us on www.avnash.com www.avnash.com yes thank you very much for speaking to dtv1 and then we think we wish you well thank you very much 
we will bring people to come and then patronize this rice. Abusha for a year made in Ghana rice. Ghana Hayan, a year papa, Mijana Hayut Muse, Yanwabi, a wet, you know, a family moon, a Rama Jimu, a sunny me from a Kamapa, a team, we are now made the mic in the Mandarin, and we are. Mabo Modiana, Mabo, a wet, you know. Nama kwa 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 yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, when I was a DD, yeah, 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 I don't know. Yeah, be more to say, run an edgy drink, rush an edgy drink, um, American cola. Baby, what? You know, you're gonna know my arm. I'm gonna hear your office. Our media could talk on some fine so. You know, hey, I know. And you said, oh, be a child now, or per se, or you follow up. You got to talk about office that I will pay, and that's all for some frame or number. Be a minum be a son of a bite to me, but I'm a no den den there. I won't say a rush and a man who shall for a trailer. I hear also more. There were media could talk well on some more finest. All right, okay. I wish I for sanity, a media could talk and some one final soap, a hot and now be whom Twilliam, a industrial company. I wish I for yet take a short commercial break. If you are your bar, your son so day, and no more echo so a war, a year, Janshi Moha, the second edition of the trade made in Ghana fair. I know Eddie at 12, so. Because we are not more fitting in that DTV one.